he could, knew there was an issue. Sometimes you need to separate players and you need to just to, to, to let they, they re reflect. I know that they, he was not happy with me because I was supposed to pass that ball, which is very clear. The only manager that hasn't loved what Troy does on a football pitch is Mazzari. If there is a moment when Troy has to be Troy, was in that moment. That Watford badge is back in the Premier League. That Premier League badge is back on those Watford shirts. My first impression of Dini was like uh, I can touch the skin of the woofer. You know, the, when you can uh, have a feedback for the player. Uh, when I was talking with him the first time in the trainings, I can feel um, a player who knows about the history of the, of the team, about the history of the, uh, of the club. Troy Dini has torn through championship defences for years. He has earned the right to stand and stare into Premier League defenders' eyes. And he looks to make his name in the Premier League now. My plan position uh, with Dini in the, in the pitch was uh, more like a second striker when I, when I was in, in Watford because uh, in the first uh, period in Watford we have Figalo and, and Dini. For us it was important what happened after Dini because uh, when the ball is, is arrived in Dini, Dini always flick the, the ball and then Igalo was uh, in the reception of the ball and it, it, this kind of play permit to, to to put the ball in the in the in the ground and we can play in the other part of the pitch in the in the uh, close to the goal. Sigalo, Odenegalo, away from John Stones, Agalo! That is what he can do. Troy Dini, maybe Watford's leading man, but he isn't far behind. This, this couple, if Gallo and, and Dini, they, they were amazing. They were amazing. They have an, an amazing and different understanding of the match. They are really, really compenetration, a big, big, big compenetration in the, in the pitch. They know exactly the moves, uh, one player and the other player. The, um, and the way they, they can read the, the plays, they are really, really clever. And for us, it was like a big, big reference in attack. Everything we move around uh, in attack around these uh, both players was uh, different options. We can change everything in the pack of Dini or Nigallo, but Dini and Nigallo was uh, it's impossible to, to, to find substitutes for, for these players in this period. Took the Premier, uh, the Premier League then by storm on a way we are destroying defenders, scoring goals and all that, you know? And he's very strong, he works hard. And when it goes up, I go behind him and all that. It's, it's a privilege playing with him because I would say I had my best moment in Premier League with him, you know, scoring 15 or 16 goals in 2015-2016 season. That was one of my best I've ever had, you know. And playing with him, you know, I think he scored 12 or 13 goals that season too. So. We are like twin striker, you know. I think Kike, Kike uh, Sanchez Flores called telepathy or what he called it colors then. You know? When the ball is arrived in Dini, Dini always flick the, the ball and then Igalo was uh, in the reception of the ball and it, it, this kind of play permit to, to to put the ball in the in the in the ground and we can play in the other part of the pitch in the in the uh, close to the goal. I remember the Liverpool game, the one three zero in Vicarage Road. I scored two goals. If you see the first goal I scored in that game, you see the ball just bounced. It did not even look. It did. It didn't even know where I was. He just played the ball because he knows I'm make it. I'm gonna make runs and all that, you know. Even the second goal, if you see the way we work it and all that, you give to Berami Berami. So there's so many games like that. Valon Berami, Watford's points. I could remember.
remember the one in um, against Stoke City too, away. His first Premier League goal. Egalo, nice touch. This now is Troy Deeney. Finally! He spent most of his life picturing what scoring in the Premier League would be like. What it would feel like. His dream comes true. I could remember the ball just come to me. I just flick. I did not watch. I didn't even know if Troy is going to be on my back there, you know. So the ball just come to me. I just flick it with my back foot. I know the instinct just is going to be there. That's how it works. You understand? So there's so many games like that. We just click. We do it like we have been training, doing it in training. But no, we just get that feelings, understand each other and all that. So, and I was happy that day against he got his first Premier League. You can see the excitement in his face, you know, because he's been working hard, fighting and all that. I'm waiting for that first Premier League. Yeah, put a lot of uh, hard, hard grafting, a lot of soul searching, a lot of uh, been through some dark places. But, you know, these are good times and this is what I said all the way through. I'm going to enjoy it. So, you know, one goal or 15 goals, it doesn't really matter. I'm enjoying myself and that's all that matters. Troy's a nice guy and He's the captain of the team. When you see the way he walks, you see the way he runs and all that. He will even give you zeal to walk, you know. You you playing a game, you see your captain chasing every ball down the channel, marking, putting legs, putting heads and fighting for every ball. Then if you don't run, then I don't know what's wrong with you. You have to run when your captain can be doing that. So it gives me zeal to when I see him the way he runs and all that. Me too. I, I want to run, I want to fight and all that. You know? So he, he pushed the teams, he encouraged the guys. Even sometimes you play in a game, you see him leave the front and go back, speak to the defense, speak to the, uh, 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 the keeper, tell them stuff and all that. You run forward again, start playing again. You know? So he's, he, he has done well, you know, in his career, he has done well for Watford and all that. I think he's one of the, one of, he's going to be one of the legends there in, in Watford. to play to, to Old Trafford and, and there is, a, there is a, a little problem. For me, it's a little problem between Igalo and, 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 and Dini because these kind of things sometimes happen in, in football. And Igalo didn't want to, to pass for Dini and Dini was a little bit, uh, um, uh, how do you say, it's not talking good words for, for Igalo and a little bit sad and whatever. I, I handle it in a, in a normal way. Yeah, I couldn't go back on the play. That wouldn't have ended well for all of us. And the thing is, I actually like, really like Iggy and, and respect him as well. So that was me taking myself away from it. Because obviously at the time, I still wasn't in control of my emotions and all that as well. Still trying to work through that in regards to um, psychology and stuff. I'm a Man Manchester United fan, you know, right from when I was young, you know. So as he was a he, he, anytime you want to play against Villa I know how Troy is Troy is boiling he want to score against Aston Villa he want to play what he want to do well. the same thing anytime I want to play against Man United I want to score I want to fight I want to do well because it's my dream team you understand so I could remember that game in Old Trafford I was doing everything to score in that game because I just want to score against Manchester United you understand because this is my dream and he knows that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Man Manchester United fan. So there's some balls, clear balls, like this, I was supposed to pass to him or I think uh, 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 Abdi or him then. I decided to shoot. He was not happy with that, you know. So I think like twice like that. Then Juan Mata scored a free kick, we lost that game. It's going to be Mata! And it is perfect! Old Trafford, I've been there to see like uh, Beckham versus uh, when he returned with AC Milan and I saw how big those nights are. I've watched Klebs there, obviously because we've got the same agent, so I've watched Klebs play and Welbs as well at times. So for me, it's like the, these are the monumentals, the, the Anfields, the Old Traffords, the St James's Park, these are the ones I grew up watching, so I wanted to score there. And the thing was, we played well that game and I think I remember I think Fossey Mensa started and I and I started really well in that first half and I was like 
I think we had three or four chances. I said, well, I say we, Iggy had three or four chances. And then that one, it was just so clear like that. And what used to frustrate me with Iggy, because he's such a goal scorer, is he didn't, he used to, at times he didn't realise that if he like, squared that to me, we score. United would have to attack us and we'd probably get more chances. Well, Igalo streaking away again. And Fosu Mensa can't get there this time, but De Gea did. Troy Deeney is fuming, he's absolutely fuming. He's got to square the ball. I know that day he was not happy with me because I was supposed to pass that ball, which is very clear. Which I understand after the game, I was beating myself that no, I was supposed to pass that ball for the, for him or I may have this to score, but because I wanted to score against my United and I got carried away with all that. So I understand he was not happy with that. But the next day we talked about it, that's it, you know. So we never had any issues. We never had any issues. We 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 are like friends. We talk, though we don't we don't spend much time outside the training ground. But when we come together, we know we are we are we are aiming for one goal. We fight together for each other and all that. So that's it. He knew there was an issue, so he he did a um, he did it at half time. I think there's a picture of him actually at half time trying to like hold me and like it's all right, you'll get another chance kind of thing. Um, and then he, he he played peacemaker the day after. And he just put a clips up and was like trying to get us to explain to each other like what we were thinking in that moment from his perspective and from my perspective. And he gets to be fair to him, held his hands up and said, like, I just, I just really wanted to score against Man United and them. Yeah. Still not over it. <laughs> <laughs>
I knew from my first day Troy it would be important for, for, for Watford and for me because he was an experienced player and and quality player as well and then uh, he's a leader uh, in and out of the of the pitch and a natural a natural leader and and I knew it from from my first day uh, after I, I could see uh, in all the training sessions in all the games we had how important Troy have to be for the, for the rest of the season All, all the games were important to, to change the dynamic we had in, in, in that moment. But if I have to say one of them, Chelsea was the, the key because we needed that momentum in, in, that, in, in, in that moment to, to improve the, the confidence, to improve the, the credibility in, in, in ourselves and to try to change a little bit the, the, the dynamic. Here he goes, in it goes. Dini delivers. It was uh, an amazing, an amazing game. Uh, playing with, we changed, uh, we changed the, the shape in that, in that, in that game. Playing, playing with three at back. I remember with, with, with Gerard, with, uh, with Troy and and with, with Richarlison, with three, and I think it was a very good uh, election because we, we, we played a really, we played, we played really well, really well. To have the week we've had, a, a tough grinded 1-1 against Stoke and then to, for this night today, and I think everyone played their part, you know, from, from the fans right the way through to the players. Um, yeah, it was a great, a great night and special, as you say. It was my, my captain and I have to, to repeat it many times in, the, in all the, the time I've been in Watford. Because, uh, yeah, he has his special character, but destroy and you have to, to accept him the way he is, knowing uh, he's always uh, trying to lead the team in the best way, trying to help the team and knowing he's uh, one of the key players you have and it's, it's important uh, for the rest of the team that he accept his uh, responsibility as a captain and the rest of the, the players know it. Good afternoon, everybody. Two clubs here in this cracking atmosphere with a chance to turn very good seasons into memorable and historic ones. Decore to cut this back towards Troy. Dean, he goes down in the box. Does he give this? Yes, he does. Penalty to Watford. Think about that penalty against Wards. <laughs> when the referee awards the penalty, what are you thinking about Troy taking it? No doubt. Uh, to be honest, I in that moment I sit down uh, close to Sigor, and I started to think what I'm going to do in the uh, extra time, you know, because I was sure Troy scored the goal. I was sure in that moment. I I was more uh, more uh, nervous uh, before the penalty than in that moment. I was sure. We scored, and I started to prepare uh, what we'll do in the in the extra time. Even though I always back him, I was in the box at the halfway line that day with my mobile phone videoing it, and uh, it was such an absolutely key penalty that, be it that I had virtually no doubt, I did actually turn away until the cheers started a little bit. If there is a moment when Troy has to be Troy, was in that moment. Uh, with his personality, with his character, he was the, the right player to, to shoot that penalty. And all of us were in his hands, in his foot, in his foot. But uh, I was sure, I was sure, uh, I trust him. 
And that's exactly what he does. He nearly took the back of the net off. 2-2 with seconds left. them for like years now but you know when this this emotion you can't really recreate on the trading pitch so took myself away calmed myself down and just got myself back in that trading pitch mode but sometimes you can have too long to think about it can't yeah, you yeah definitely you, but, you need to get but away but from everything to, calm myself down and to be fair i thought he was going to stand so i yeah. just hit it as hard as i could to, just yeah, to it's right. a fantastic penalty it's a great moment oh, fantastic well done Cheers. great yeah. say that's the biggest moment in your watford career so far that penalty taking that yeah, to get yeah. Team to the final. yeah, because of the pressure that was on it, and I think you can see the emotion that the guys are showing in me there. Yeah, not too bad, is it, for a big lad in? <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, just yeah, I think the emotion more yeah. of it, and uh, you know, if you miss, you're out. So, like I say, just took myself away, got myself in the zone, and tried to make it as much of the training pitch as I could. But I think we should enjoy this moment. Um, there's many times you can get caught up and just go, right, what's the next thing, what's the next thing? For a club of this size, I think it's a case of uh, enjoying this moment, let everybody enjoy it. We've got a couple of days to rest up and then we go again. If another club had come and offered us not much more than we'd pay Balsall to take him, I think the club probably would have been in a position to say, thanks very much, Troy, it's not really worked. Good luck somewhere else. The, the club overall stood by him during a period where it, they could have decided not to. I expect in some moment he can change the, the, the colour and he can play for a, for another team. I think I used to get to 20, 25 pence a mile. He's a better player than the player I signed, without a doubt. Troy's going to be a legend in that club. He, he's already a legend in the club, you know. So it's a good uh, combination. I think uh, both uh, club and the player, they've been very good to each other. And they remember this. They don't forget this. <laughs>